What's up, guys? So, I get home from work today, and I see what happened down in Memphis, Tennessee at Graceland. What happened is overnight, uh, Black Lives Matter supporters, they vandalized the wall at Graceland. The wall that the fans come and mark, you know, they write, you know, messages to Elvis. They say, I've been here, this and that, dates, messages to Elvis, this and that. They vandalized, spray-painted the wall with Black Lives Matter messages. Some say F Trump. Some say abolish the police, abolish ICE. All their protesting messages, they wrote that on the wall overnight at Graceland. You know, the wall that Elvis would come down to greet the fans at. And um, people came to power wash the wall early this morning, Tuesday morning, to try to get it off. And it looks like they're doing a good job of doing it. But the pictures that you're seeing right now is what has been done. And uh, I want you guys to um, tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And I'm going to share mine. I posted this on uh, Elvis's Demand Instagram. And um, I made a lot of posts on my Instagram page showing how Elvis was not racist, how he loved all races and treated them equal and thought of them as equal. He paid tribute to uh, black artists, white artists, and treated them all the same. So I think if Black Lives Matter, in my opinion, wants to send a message, it's doing a bad job of it by targeting Graceland's wall. And as you can see from some of these pictures that the trees are also TP'd with toilet paper, I just find it very disrespectful and the message is not received. Elvis was kind to all people respected all races and I don't even think that uh, Black Lives Matter necessarily did this as a message to Elvis or his fans I just think that they were trying to target any place and they figured why not Elvis you know I made a video of uh, was Elvis racist did he steal black music and a lot of people are commenting and, and seeing all of the artists like James Brown um Athletes like Muhammad Ali, we also have Jackie Wilson, Stevie Wonder, and many others saying how Elvis wasn't racist, how he actually, like B.B. King saying that he helped, and Little Richard saying that he helped open doors for black people and black artists that were shut previously. So I come home from work and I find this very disturbing and upsetting that they would vandalize Elvis's wall like this. I don't like it. They're working to take it down. I wanted to give you a quick update of what was going on in Memphis. Um, I, you know, you think they would have some security patrolling the gates. Obviously, um, there wasn't any or some cameras to see what was going on. Uh, but obviously, as you can see from these pictures, it took them a while to get all this down. So where were the police? Where were the people who were supposed to be out watching um, Elvis's house to allow this to happen. It obviously wasn't stopped. They're trying to clean it up now. But uh, that's what's going on down in Memphis. And uh, I hope you share your thoughts in the comments about what happened and what's going on and what you think should be done. I find it very disrespectful. And obviously, as a huge, hardcore Elvis fan, do not like it. So um, also, post this on your Facebook I posted it on mine on Elvis's Man Facebook, just so you so people see what's going on. And uh, I was actually gonna plan a trip down there pretty soon, so we'll see if uh, what's going on by the time I go down there. But uh, that's a quick little update from Elvis's The Man, and uh, give it a like, subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.